hello and welcome in this short video let us look at the let us look at the proof for what is known as back cab rule in vector algebra that is given three vectors a b and c we have the cross product of these three vectors a cross b cross c is equal to b times a dot c minus c times a dot b a cross product of three vectors can be written as a weighted combination of two vectors where the weights are given by the dot products between the vector a and c and vector a and b so that is now we want to prove this rule so let us start with the left hand side that is a cross b cross c which is equal to by definition ax into x hat plus ay into y hat plus az into z hat cross product with the vector b cross c which is and again a cross product of between b and c so we write it as bx x hat plus by y hat plus bz z hat and cross product with cx x hat plus cy y hat plus cz z hat so this is again written as ax into x hat plus a y into y hat plus a z into z hat again now the cross product between b and c is b y c z minus b z c y into x hat plus b z into c x minus b x into c z y hat plus plus b x cy minus by cx into z hat that's the cross product between b and c now the cross product between a and b cross c is a x into bz cx minus that is ax into bz cx minus bx into cz multiplied by z hat where x hat cross y hat is z hat next we have minus ax into x hat into z hat is minus y hat that's why we have minus ax into bx cy minus by cx into y hat the next term is ay minus ay since y hat cross x hat is minus z hat that's why we have minus ay into this term by cz minus bz cy into x hat cross y hat cross x hat is minus z hat z hat that is why we have minus here and z hat here next term is plus a y into y hat cross z hat that is x hat then we have a y into b x c y minus b y c x into y hat cross z hat is x hat and the third and the fifth term is plus a z into z hat cross x hat is y hat so we have a z into b y z c z minus b z into c y into z hat cross x hat is y hat minus a z into this is minus because z hat cross y hat is minus x hat so we have minus a z into b z c x minus b x c z into z hat cross y hat is minus x hat that is we have minus x hat so this is the cross product between three vectors a b and c now by gathering all the Uh, compounds that have same unit vectors that is we have a y into b x c y minus b y into c x minus a z into b z c x minus b x c z that is these two are x components so this is multiplied by x hat and the next term is mm, the y components that is this term and this term so we have a z into b y c z minus b z into c y minus a x into b x c y minus b y c x so this is the y component and finally the z component is these two terms that is we have a x into b z c x minus b x into c z minus a y into b y c z minus b z c y so this is the z component so this is the equation 1 that is this is equal this is the 
cross product of three vectors a cross b cross c now we want to derive the right hand side the term on the right hand side that is b times a dot c minus c times a dot b which is equal to by definition bx into x hat plus by into y hat plus bz into z hat that is the definition of b the vector b and the dot product between a and c is written as ax into x hat plus ay into y hat plus az into z hat dot product with cx into x hat that is this vector c that is cy into y hat plus cz into z hat so this is the first term that is the weight for the first vector next we have minus of the vector c which is cx into x hat plus cy into y hat plus cz into z hat and the dot product between a and b which is ax into x hat plus ay into y hat plus az into z hat dot product with the vector b which is bx into x hat plus by into y hat plus bz into z hat so these are the weights of the for the vectors b and c respectively so this is equal to now we find the dot product which is defined as ax into x hat and x hat is 1 so we have ax into cx which is ax cx plus ay into cy plus az into cz that is the dot product now we are weighting the vector b with this dot product which is bx x hat plus by y hat plus bz z hat next we have the dot product between a and b which is ax into bx plus ay into by plus az into bz multiplied by the vector c which is cx into x hat plus cy into y hat plus cz into z hat now gathering all the uh, components that are having same unit vectors that is for the first term we have the components of x vector and the components corresponding to the x hat that is we have x component which is ax bx cx plus ay by bx cy plus az into bx into cz that's the first term the first x component and the second component is corresponding to the x component is ax bx cx minus ay by cx minus az into bz into cx so this is the first this is the x component and the y component is ay into by into cy plus ax into by into cx that is ay into cy into by next we have ax into by into cx next we have az into by into cz minus we have ay by into cy that is this term multiplied by this term and next we have minus ax bx cy finally we have minus az bz cy that is the y component and the last one is that is the z component is we have az into bz into cz that is the first term az bz cz plus ax into bz into cx plus ay into bz cy minus we have az into bz into cz that is the az bz cz minus we have ax into bx into cz finally we have ay by and cz that is the z component clearly this component this one is gone this one and this one cancels and this one cancels with this one so finally we are left with taking a y common this term and this term we have a y into b x c y minus b y c x and the next one is minus of taking a z common a z into b z c x minus b x into c z that is the x component and the y component is can be rewritten as false that is we take az common in this term and 
this term. That means we have B y into C z minus B z into C y. That is B z into C y. Finally, next we take next we take a x common. That is minus a x common minus of a x into B x C y minus B y C x. That is B y C x. So this is y component. And then finally, we have the z component, which is we take a x common. That is a x in this term and a x in this term. So we have a x into b z c x minus b x into c z. And the last one, we take minus a y common. So we have minus a y into this term b y c z minus we have b z into c y, which is z component. If you examine this uh, this result, that is. Uh, the, the final output of a into the final output of the right hand side that is b into a dot c minus c into a dot b that is back cab. We can clearly see that this result is exactly same as this result. Therefore, the cross product of three vectors a cross b cross c is equal to b into a dot c minus c into a dot b. Now, result of this identity is very useful because instead of calculating a, uh, two cross products, we can easily calculate these dot products and weight the corresponding vectors to find this cross product. So, this is a very useful vector algebra. Thanks for watching.